I'm Anil Kumar. Here is an example of finding probability in the game of cards. The question is, what is the probability of getting a pair in a hand of five cards? So that is to say, so we are distributed, always choose five cards. Now out of these five cards, what is the probability of getting a pair? So pair really means two of the same value. Right? That is what it means. So it could be, for example, we could have two queens, right? We could have two queens and something else here. So that is what the question is. You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Well, in a game of cards, there are 52 cards in all. And when we are talking about the value, the value is we have cards like ace, king, queen, jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So these are 13 cards. So when we say what is the probability of getting a pair, we want two of the same kind, same value, right? Now each card could belong to one of the four suits, which are hearts, we can say hearts is kind of like this, right? So hearts or diamonds, these are the two red suits, right? Or it could be spades. So spades is the, the other way, kind of like this. Okay, spades or clubs, right? So clubs is kind of like this. So these are the four suits. So every card, for example, we'll have four aces, four kings, kind of like this. So four times 13 will be 52. So what we have here is uh, 52 cards. Those are total number of cards for us. Okay, so when you are drawing five cards, in that case, the probability will be, so let us write probability of doing this event which is event a event a is getting a pair in five cards so that is what we need to find now here total number of options are we have to choose five out of 52 cards so it is 52c5, right? Order is not important here when you have a hand of five cards. So that is total number of options. Now we need to find what are favorable options to get, get a pair. So the first step here is to figure out what value of card you need and how many options do we have to select value. So first thing is let us select value. Now, since there are 13 cards, we have 13 choices. So we have 13 choices. Now, out of these 13 choices, we want two of the same kind. As you know, if we select Q, Q in, there are four of these. So we have a choice that out of four, we could select two, right? Out of four, we could select two queens. So that becomes a pair. Now, the other three cards can be any card, but not Q, right? But not the queen. Otherwise, this will no more be a pair. So now we have to select three cards out of, out of remaining 12. Do you understand? So out of remaining 12, we have to select three cards. So that becomes out of 12, we have to choose three and these three whichever we select will be of any of these colors so four of each so it becomes times four q so that becomes total number of choices which we have for such a combination and therefore the probability of this event is equals to ratio of favorable to total number of outcomes which could be written as 13 4c2 times 12c3 times 4q divided by 
52 C5, right? So we can use the calculator to calculate this answer. So we have 13 times 4 C2 times 12 C3 times 4 cube, that is the numerator, divided by 52 C5. We are selecting 5 cards and that gives you a uh, number equals to 352 over 833 and in decimals you could write this as um, this is the decimal value as equal to 0 0.4225 right so that could be the decimal value for such a selection right so I hope you understand how to find the probability of getting a pair in the game of poker in the game of poker five cards are distributed as an exercise you can apply the same principle and find the probability of getting a pair in a hand of three cards that would be interesting I'm Anil Kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best